We're building a blog worth $1 million using only AI content, and in this episode we generated 7,723 words with AI to earn $433.11 in revenue on a pest control lead generation site. In this series, we show exactly how we do it and answer all of your questions at the very end. This pest control lead generation site is monetized through form submissions, where we have forms embedded directly on the website. And it's also monetized through pay per call, a phone number listed on the website that forwards to local businesses in their area. We create all of the content using AI from wordplay.ai. Wordplay is the best tool for making long form content that is optimized for SEO using AI. The goal is to reach twenty dollars to $25,000 a month in revenue, which would value the business at $1 million if we were to sell it. At the end of this video, we're answering your questions from the last video about how we connect leads to local businesses. First, let's look at the traffic from the last week, which is 214 users. For the month, that's 810 users. Our average engagement time is down by two seconds, and there are several possible explanations for this. One, our design changes could be shortening engagement time because it's made it easier to convert the user. Our new content may also be more effective at converting users. Generally speaking, engagement time will bounce around, but remain generally in this same area. Our website is sort of like a brochure that collects a lead as people leave the site, so engagement time really isn't the most important metric to look at. Week over week, we've seen a 12% increase in our 30-day user count. Now, if you compound that over time, we're looking at very significant growth. Now looking at the rank tracker, in the last seven days, our average ranking has dropped from 30 to 34, and we've lost 26 of our top three ranked keywords. In the last 28 days, our average ranking has dropped from 33 to 34, and we've lost 13 of our top three keywords. We expect this to fluctuate quite a bit as well. We just revived this domain after nine to 10 months of it staying the same, so it may take some time for Google to start picking up some of the newly added content. Now let's look at how much content we published this week, because that is the main thing that we're doing each week to make a difference in these numbers. Our strategy here is to use AI to create long form content for long tail keywords that already have high search volume, but really low competition. Last week we had posted 36,000 total words on the site, and now that number is 43,781. In the last seven days, we've posted 7,723 words to the site. We haven't published too many words this week, but we have done some on-page optimization for some existing articles on our end. We hope to significantly ramp up the number of words that we're publishing each week in the next month or two. Now let's take a look at our qualified calls. In the last seven days, we got 387 total calls. 22 of those calls paid out for a 75% conversion rate, and we earned $357.59 in total for an average of $17.07 .07 per call. Over the last 30 days, we've received 1,894 total calls, 98 of those calls have paid out just shy of 100 for a 61% conversion rate. We've earned $1,779.88 in total in the last 30 days for an average of $17.71 per call. Looking at our form submissions, in the last seven days, we received 16 form submissions and earned $75.52. Over the last 30 days, we received 109 form submissions, which earned $465.11. Now let's take a look at the total revenue generated. Over the last seven days, calls have earned $357.59, and forms earned $75.52 for a total of $433.11 this week. Over the last 30 days, calls have earned $1,779.88, while forms have earned $465.11. In total for the last 30 days, we've earned $2,244.99. Now it's time for the question of the week. We really care about actually helping you guys be able to do this on your own. So the question of the week is, how do you connect leads? And how does the site connect to different cities? This is more of a back-end question, so I'll let Curran answer this one because he's the expert that built the site. I'm going to explain that in kind of simple terms. First, I want to explain how our site is set up. Our site is set up as a WordPress multi-site. We have the root domain. Basically, this one domain has a bunch of WordPress installations built into it. So for each city, we have over 300 cities. Each one of these cities has their own WordPress installation. And it's all kind of connected 
within one uh, bigger WordPress instance. I don't know if it's really the best approach. The, the good things, there's some pros and cons. The good thing is that each one of these sites, um, Google may look at it and be like, oh wow, they have a whole site around this specific city. And so it gives it maybe a little bit more authority in that way. I'm not sure if that's totally true, but um, that was kind of the main thesis that we took whenever we were first building this out. Uh, the problem though, is that when you wanna make bulk changes to like a specific template or like some different things, it's a lot harder to do. Now going forward, I think we're not really gonna mess with these city websites anymore. So we're gonna just publish all of the blog posts on this main domain. We're gonna do some interesting tests or like which cities are worst for bed bugs, which cities are worst for cockroaches, stuff like that, and link out to all of these different city websites so that it gives it a little bit of link juice and then also that might work as like a statistical piece that we might get referenced in like newspapers or stuff stuff like that just to get like passive link building going just more long tail keywords that would have a city attached to it so like cockroach extermination this city all of them are kind of connected in the same exact way so all the leads come in as either a call or a form and we sell both of those types of leads. Really all we have is just one number across the entire site and then we forward that to the pay per call network number. And as soon as you call in, it's basically like what is your zip code and that gets routed on the back end through the pay per call network so that it makes it super super simple like we don't have to do anything in terms of like changing phone numbers and stuff for each different city. If I were to get a local pest control company connected with each one of these cities, we'd probably make a lot more money, but a lot more hassle. And then you have to deal with clients and stuff. Like the nice thing about paper calls, you don't ever have to like talk to anyone. For forms, it's kind of the same exact thing. We use networks. It's this, we sell our form leads to this. For a while there, I'd, what I would do is just, I would collect the form on our end, just manually enter it through them. But again, that requires time and effort. And like a lot of times we would get a form and I just didn't even submit it. So things fall through the cracks if you do it that way. So automating it was a little bit better. There's the old dog. But yeah, that's essentially how we sell the calls and form leads and Hopefully that made sense. If you have more questions for us, please leave them in the comments below so that we can answer them in detail next week. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next episode as we build a $1 million website with AI content from Wordplay.